pie. It's getting baked with dye. I would like to talk to you about a new product that uh, Liberty Health Sciences has called their Dom Pen. Now, um, I'm sure you can get Dom Pens all over the United States and the legal states. But this is new to me. And I am not a big vapor. i am really never been fond of vaping because I don't like metal flavors or chemical taste or fake taste. So, um, never been fond of it. But, um, I do like the disposables. And I usually, about every couple months, will rack up, you know, at least $50 in reward points or sometimes up to $100 um, at Liberty Health Sciences. And I usually use that for a disposable. I've tried their uh, Zentiment. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And I've tried their uh, their pretty pistols. I do like the pretty pistols, uh, the guava in particular. It's got a kind of a bit of an aftertaste, but it's not bad. And the pretty pistol lasts fairly long. Um, but the um, the sentiment didn't last that long. Uh, only about three days, so I wasn't real happy about that. It tasted fine. It tasted actually really good, but it just didn't last long. This is my second day smoking on this Dom pen, um, and I, I got two of them. I used my loyalty reward points to get them, so that was awesome. Um, I uh, They're uh, $40 each, which I think is extremely um, affordable. I really do. If you think about it, if you bought an eighth for, you know, $40, whatever, some really high quality flour, that's probably going to last you two or three days. So maybe a week if you're, you know, an occasional user. So that's a pretty good deal. We'll see how long it lasts and I will let you know. But I got two. This is the Pineapple Coast. It has an amazing flavor. It does not have a bad aftertaste at all. It is not harsh on my throat. As you can see, I'm not coughing my brains out. If I hit it real hard, I can cough. It's just like, you know, it's it's cannabis, <laughs> but not bad. Um, and I also got the California Citrus, which I really love. This is a hybrid, the Pineapple Coast. The um, California Citrus, oh, so good. It tastes like a bowl of California oranges, limes, and lemons. It, it does. It's amazing. Um, but... It's, uh, I really love it. It's, it's my favorite. And there's an indica that they have. It's a berry flavor or something that I want to try. And I will try it next time. Um, the, it's smooth. Very portable. Comes in this really cool box. It has like a magnetic, um, magnets in the lid so it closes and stays closed. And I can reuse those boxes. I can put jewelry in them when I'm traveling. I can put a, roll up some joints and put them in there, you know, whatever. So, and I keep this in it. <laughs> but, um, I imagine these are recyclable. Maybe. Anyway, I'll have to ask LHS. They, their uh, products are in uh, biodegradable and recyclable containers and I really appreciate that about them. I think you can actually take your products to them, your left your containers when you're through using them to them and they'll recycle them for you. I've been told call first. I don't I don't know about that. That's, that's what I've been told. Now, you know what? With this pandemic, they probably don't they probably won't. So, but anyway, throw them in your recycling. I reuse them. They're great. Those little containers, you could you could it, dry herbs, basil, whatever, and oregano, and store it in that. You you could put, you know, get a huge container of salt and put it in that. You, Whatever. You can put earrings in there, or jewelry, or buttons, or paper clips, Q-tips, anything. They're great. Reuse them. Reuse them. Especially the um, seven gram shake little container. They're great. And also, I appreciate that LHS uses the rectangular square 
shaped containers. And you know why? Because when it gets down to the bottom to the shake, you can scrape that right out. You, you can get it right out of there. The True Aleve round containers, there's, there is no way to get that last little bit of shake out of your um, little eighth container. You can't get it out. You can't because it's got that lip. It, it's crazy. I, got, I, I hate it. I can't stand that. I also can't get those lids off sometimes. You have to hold down and twist. I, I don't like that. Because I have nerve damage and arthritis, and um, it's very hard for me to open anything. The Liberty, I just squeeze and pop it off most of the time. And there's a, occasionally there'll be one, you know, you gotta get your nails up under there, but it's, usually they come, they open up pretty well. But anyway, uh, does it get you high? Does it relieve pain? The, the anxiety? Yes, 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 it does. It really does. The Pineapple Coast and the California Citrus. I think the California Citrus um, is very much more energizing. Of course, it's a straight up sativa. It's very energizing, and um, I find myself not having to take as long of a nap in the afternoon. I usually wind up having to nap in the evenings when the afternoons when the pain gets bad. But the pain doesn't get that bad because of this, so that's that's awesome. It's it's really good. This pineapple is nice and smooth. It really it tastes like pineapple. It leaves a little tingly feeling on my lips. I don't know what that's about, but I don't mind it. <laughs> anyway, it's really good. Um, I hope everybody is social distancing. I hope you're checking in on your family and friends. I hope you're keeping your circle small. hope you're petting your dog and streaming shows that you never had time to watch, working from home, learning from home. Um, I know there's a whole bunch of parents out there trying to decide right now, should we teach our kids uh, should we teach them at home? Should we do virtual home connect? Should we send them to the school building? What do we do? It's terrifying. My family is choosing virtual for the kids in our family. And our friends, we're doing virtual and home connect. It's, it's awesome um, and safer. Um, the fact of the matter is kids have teenage siblings. Teenagers do not social distance. They drink after each other. They smoke after each other. They don't wash their hands. They party. They don't believe anything is going to hurt them or kill them or anybody else. They don't believe anything's going to happen to them. They don't even believe they can get pregnant, for God's sake. <laughs> so, um, and then, you know, they go to school and they give it to their teachers. We got a whole bunch of teachers that are well over 55, <clears throat> you know, immune compromised, <clears throat> it's, it's not okay to open up all the schools like this, knowing that we, well, we added 12,500 more cases today. We have like 5,000 deaths in Florida, but we're going to open the schools? No, that's crazy, that's crazy. But regardless of whether you send your kiddos to the brick and mortar or you send them back to the computer, just know that I'm praying for all of us and um, we're in this together. We, we got to educate these kids. We got to keep them on track. We got to try and keep them from worrying about all this, but we also got to keep them safe. The struggle's real. The struggle's real. So I feel for you, I do. My, my prayers go out to everyone. But uh, in the meantime, let's just stay high, <laughs> you know. Um, I'm going to go in and make some cheese puffs. I've got some extra concentrate lemon, uh, lemon tree, I think it is. And I'm just going to make some cheese puffs and that'll, you know, give me something to munch on and get my weight up, my appetite up, which I've been doing very well with my appetite, um, and that's good, and with my weight, been doing very well, proud of myself. <laughs>
Anyway, it's getting kind of humid and hot out here on the lanai, and my service dog is laying over there trying to waiting on a lizard. He he wants to catch a lizard, but um, so but he's he'll get hot, and I don't want him to have a seizure. So I'm gonna get him inside and get me inside, and I'm gonna go watch some more Little Women, L.A. Uh, I'm in. I'm about to do season four. I've actually already seen, like, the last three seasons I watched, you know, as they played out, but, um, as they aired, but I'm catching up on the beginning because of this pandemic of all the little women, and I'm gonna tell you, some of those little women are some big bitches. <laughs> I love them. I love them all. They're great. They, they make the Real Housewives look like children, and <laughs> they do. <laughs> it's awesome. So I'm gonna go watch Little Women L.A., and um, stuff like that. Smoke my vapes. Tomorrow I'm going to be at Liberty, and uh, it, it's Monday, so I don't know. I might pick up some Mary's Medicinals because they usually have sales on Monday. But I'm going to go and pick up some flour Monday because my milligrams re up, and uh, it's going to be good. So anyway, you all have fun. I will be doing another Getting Baked with Dye video soon. I'm going to. Everyone's been asking me, not everyone, but people have been asking me to do Canna Honey again. So I'm going to do some Canna Honey, and I'm also going to show you some of my other condiments that I make. Some really cool sauces that you can put on sausage, veggie sausage, whatever. Um, and things like that. So it'll be pretty cool. I'll be posting another video very soon. But in the meantime, this is Getting Baked with Dye. Let's get baked together. Stay tuned and hi. Namaste.